guys, it's Brittany and I am super excited for this video because this is my third Chillingham Castle video and as many of you guys know because I've said this in so many of my videos besides my Chillingham Castle playlist videos that Chillingham Castle is my absolute favorite haunted place in the entire world. Ever since I was little, it's just been my goal in life. I need to visit this castle. I need to investigate this castle. I would stay a year in this castle just investigating it because this castle is huge, enormous, and it's filled with so much violent, gruesome history, which you guys can watch my Chillingham Castle playlist in the description box below. I will leave it down there so you can watch my first and second video. My second video about Chillingham Castle, I describe and tell you guys all about the violent, gruesome, insane history that took place at the castle. So if you want to watch that, then look down below because it will be down there for you guys to check it out. I am so, like, I'm just so excited. I love Chillingham Castle so much. I know a lot of you guys are probably like, why? You know, it's so violent. The history there, like, why would you love it? I don't know. I guess because it's just one of the most haunted places in the world and actually one of the most, if not the most haunted castle in Britain. I'm not exactly sure why I'm so drawn to this castle. It's a beautiful castle, I think, but this castle was built for killing so like I said the violent history and stuff but today people actually have their weddings there which is quite interesting like there are a lot of people have had their weddings there you know I actually I think I would have my wedding there I'm not gonna lie because I need to go to this castle I need to go there because it's just it's on my bucket list it's my favorite haunted place even though I've never been there before I'm just obsessed it's actually my background on my phone so like I said this castle's history is very horrific which means that this castle is infested with sinister energy. So now I'm gonna tell you guys a few of the ghost stories that take place at this castle, starting off with one of the most famous, famous, <laughs> famous ghost stories at this castle. This ghost is known as the Blue Boy. The Blue Boy haunts a room in the castle known as the Pink Room. There have been many people that have seen this little blue boy and so many of these visitors have claimed to hear an agonizing cry coming from the Pink Room. It's actually a really sad story because many of these visitors have actually heard the cries from this little boy coming from within the walls of the Pink Room. One day when there was construction workers just doing some renovations on the room, they found a man and the little boy inside the wall, dead of course. The little boy's fingers, his bones in his fingers, were completely broken, so he obviously used his hands trying to escape the walls when he was sealed inside the wall. The next ghost story is known as the White Pantry Ghost. So in the pantry room of the castle, there is a female, very pale, weak female that wanders around and she begs for water. The story of this woman is not known, however, it is rumored that this woman was poisoned by her cheating husband. There have been many people that have actually taken pictures inside the castle, outside the castle, and have caught many ghosts and apparitions on camera, like a woman looking out the window. It is just terrifying if you see these pictures. So that is the end of my third Chillingham Castle video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I get so excited talking about this castle. I just want to go there so badly. So I'm hoping I can go there really soon because it's just it's on my bucket list as you guys know. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All of my links including my Chillingham Castle playlist are in the description box below. So if you want to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram then also watch my Chillingham Castle playlist. Hey, it's amazing. I love it. I'm having so much fun with it even though I haven't made one of these videos in forever. So I hope you guys are really happy that I'm back doing this. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching once again. Hashtag team pretty 44 hashtag GAC notice Brittany and hashtag brotherins yes you guys you love it it won it's like you guys are obsessed with brotherins and also I want to say too brotherins does not mean that you are in Slytherin because a lot of you guys are Gryffindors Hufflepuffs Ravenclaws I'm a Slytherin 
but brethren, it's a new house. Not necessarily at Hogwarts, it can be at Hogwarts, but basically it's our team. Team Birdie 44, so we're brethrens because you know, I'm obsessed with Slytherin as you guys know. So it's just like, you know, a little fun name, but we are the new house, I guess, at Hogwarts. Okay, I guess we are at Hogwarts. So we are the new Hogwarts. We are the new house at Hogwarts. So you can be sorted into a Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, Slytherin, or Brotherin. And you guys have been sorted into Brotherin. We are the number one house. We are the number one team. You guys can try out for the Brotherin Quidditch team if you guys want. Mm, all of you guys are on it anyways. We're gonna have the best team ever. I think it's a perfect name, so. Welcome to Brotherins, the Brotherin house. <laughs> we are actually better than Slytherin. Ugh. I can't believe I said that, but yeah, we are better than Slytherin because we're Brotherin. Mm, we walk in, we own Hogwarts. We own every school out there. Yes. So if you guys are Brotherin, let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. I will go now because I blab so much. And I hope you guys have a great day and a great weekend. And I will see you guys in my Sunday video. Bye.